my friends. It's cool. This has night vision. I'm about to go under a dark tunnel, so maybe this might pick up a little bit better. Uh, here we go. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Look what I got today. I have a 2021 Grand Cherokee L and it's just going to be an Overland. So if you don't know, there's a Laredo, an Altitude Limited, and then this is what you have here, which is the Overland. So this is pretty much a premium trim package. So as you can see up front already, you have painted bumpers, things like that. I will show you the window sticker for this specific build because I actually like some of the options on here. I don't know if you can tell, but this does have the air suspension and I have it in its highest setting, okay? I will show you pretty much each setting later on in the video, but I want to show it to you this way. There is an entry or exit as they call it, and that's pretty much the lowest setting you can get the air suspension in, but I love the way it looks. But up front, guys, I really like the overall design of this. It looks really bold. I mean, I'm really a fan of this Grand Cherokee L. I think it's a great step, you know, for Jeep. And I mean, already up front here, you guys can see there's actually a few things that you didn't see in the limited video that I did. Be sure to check that out. For example, you do have a forward facing camera and I'm assuming this is gonna be for your night vision. You do have your tow hooks just below in chrome and your parking sensors are kind of hidden on the front, which I really like. I even like the overall design for your fog lights too. The fog lights are a little bit different from what I saw on the limited and you still have those reflective style headlights. They are gonna be LED high and low beam. I thought they were gonna have projector. That's what it said online, but it's still reflector. But really nice accents. The Limited did have a black plastic piece on the bottom, but as you can see on this one, it is painted. Finishing off the front, you do have some chrome accents around the seven slots on the grill and kind of around this area here too as well. And I like this little small grill down below painted looks really cool looks nice really really good design now as far as the engine options let's pop the hood really quickly this is going to have a 3.6 liter v6 it's going to be good for 290 horsepower 257 pound feet of torque it is made it to an 8 speed transmission called the 850 re you can get a 5.7 liter v8 as well and it does upgrade the transmission specifically for like towing and it does increase the gross fuel weight rating so you have more payload capacity for carrying extra gear for your family things like that one thing i didn't notice on the last video is you see this little black trim piece below whenever you opt for four wheel drive which is two thousand dollars more than four by two you get this little piece i'm not sure what it's used for but they do add that you can tell you have a parking sensor on the side if you're going into your garage and let's just take a moment and marvel at these 20 inch wheels. They look great. I think this is the best design wheel they have for the entire L long wheel base, whatever you want to call it, lineup for the Grand Cherokee. And these are gonna be a 265 tire, 50, 20, and they are a Bridgestone. I would like to see maybe a Michelin tire like I saw on the Limited. They do finish this off with a fabric material, makes it a little bit easier to clean inside of here. And check out your suspension. As I mentioned, this does have air suspension on all four corners and looks like they're using, I think this is like aluminum on the uh, suspension as well. The Limited did have like a black plastic running on the sides all the way down below, but this Overland is all finished off in paint too. Now there is an option to do a two-tone, so you can do a black roof, and I think that that's the way I would go. Personally, I think it looks so much better, and it's not much more money. They do finish your mirrors in black, chrome trim piece rolls up on the top here. You also have that chrome accent on the roof rail. Now this mirror does have turn signals. It also has a camera on the side. So this does have a 360 camera. And you do have your blind spot monitoring indicator and your heated mirrors as well. Black trim runs the bottom piece here. Chrome accents on the door handles. Now I mentioned in the last video with the limited, I would like to see a smart key system on the front door handles and on the rear door handles. And as you can see, if you step up in a higher trim level, you can get that smart key system for the doors out back. I love that, especially if you have kids, you don't have to go to the front door first. I think it's just a lot better that way. 
but overall that painted fender flare all continues out to the back really clean design this is a beautiful suv if you're in the market for a grand cherokee l i am at century chrysler dodge ram they have a ford store alongside of it but be sure to check these guys out and let them know you saw this video out back you have led tail lights turn signals reverse lights everything and look how they motored the exhaust down below and pretty much everything back here is painted it's finishing some chrome accents too i mean wow they did a good job even your shark fin out back is painted as well and you have a smoked high mount center light here and you have an additional camera right here the only thing i don't like about the back of this grand cherokee l is all the badges like i would like to see them maybe remove the four wheel drive badge i mean i guess the overland's okay and i guess the l's okay but there's just kind of a lot going on back here anyway so having less badges is always better personally now if you move over to this side you can see the lines going down the side right there really clean i really like this wheel design too they look really classy on this grand cherokee l and last thing i'll show you is your American flag right there as far as the interior goes everything's pretty much the same with the exception of a few things you do have automatic up and down for front and rear windows on the limited it only had the front so they do upgrade that you do have a massaging function as well on the seat I'm gonna show that to you in a second really cool aluminum door handle big plastic wood trim piece it's like an accent soft touch Pretty much everywhere up top you are gonna have hard plastics down below which is fine you have a macintosh sound system i believe this actually lights up as well and check out your seat settings here like oh my goodness i mean there's like a lot of things you can do with this seat here i mean you can actually control the front piece you can go up and down for the rear and up and down for the front of it and i'm not sure what this does but we are going to find out in a second you do have your lumbar support and yeah check out the stitching and just how upscale these seats look too i mean they look great it says overland these are going to be ventilated and heated as well and your headrest does um, go forward too if you like now your steering wheel is finished in like a piano black kind of like what you saw on your door here as well you can close the mirrors too if you like and one thing i saw on the window sticker is you have seat memories for your driver and your passenger side as well now i'm gonna scoot this chair back all the way so i can get comfortable push button start it's up top come, come standard leather wrapped steering wheel you still have that piano black around the steering wheel and even your buttons as well you have your paddle shifters and you have controls for the audio behind the steering wheel as well check out your interior accents man this is next level guys this is like leather soft touch stitching macintosh is like on the little tweeters up top and that macintosh is illuminated on the speaker grill that is just wow this is a next level SUV like even the way they did the air vents everything just flows well leather wrapped on the dash right here big wood trim pieces where you want them at i mean you have night vision for goodness sake i mean this thing has everything and it's not that expensive when you think about range rover starting price and even like for some of the lexus and a lot of those features aren't even available on those higher premium suvs now we're going to go through this really quickly i did turn on the night vision the way you would have to do that so what i did was i hit this button here and then I clicked on which is pretty much your driving assist assistance whatever you want to call it and you have your speedometer and then you have your night vision and then your driver assist so like your lane keep and your radar cruise control all that stuff will show up you do have I don't know if you guys can see it but you do have your heads up display which is new for Grand Cherokee I don't believe Grand Cherokee has ever had that option and yeah you know, look at how your 10.1 kind of like floats on top of the dash here it's such a really nice design and it's about what 90 it's 90 degrees outside right now i have my cool seats on they work great the seats are nice and plush and get this you have massager so we're going to hit this button right here on the side to get there pretty quickly you have what they call 
as waterfall and oops, let's go back there real quickly so i had to take a moment to look for the seat massager so here if you hit your comfort tab you'll see massage pretty much in the center and you can pretty much set it for low medium or high we'll set it for medium too i actually have to turn it on first and then hit medium so they have what's called waterfall lower back and it shows you like the schematics for that isn't that cool and then extend and then you have low extend and then you have rock climb at the bottom here as well you can kind of feel the seat moving and it's actually pretty good even at medium now i did say on the seat control this might um control that seat massager but it doesn't this actually helps with the bolsters on the sides of the seat so you can actually tighten these up if you're a little bit skinnier and it'll hug you better in the seat such a cool feature that they added overall design and layout is really clean now if we go down you can have a a gauge summary i'm glad they incorporated this for the grand cherokee this was in the ram segment and they basically just moved it over to the jeep as well and you have your trip a and trip b you have these four arrows down below that's going to help control this and then map display is loading at the wait for it so you can do a full screen for navigation i believe audi started this maybe ferrari some one of those companies did that first and then you have for your off-road settings here a few menus that you can see and your audio messages settings so if you want to set up your screen you can do the upper right upper left um, you can do your current gear if you like you see how it popped up there your odometer can be down below you can change these things out if you'd like to um, you can show it or you can hide it basically and it's pretty easy to, to set this up i pretty much showed you everything i wanted to show you for the climate and the massaging seats the next thing i want to show you just really quickly are the cameras so you have a fam cam and you can pretty much point it wherever you like it to go you can see it kind of changing on that side isn't that pretty cool it's really cool and you can close it out you have a forward facing cam you have a rear facing cam and pretty much you can zoom in for this one as well uh, pretty clear for the most part i'm glad it's on a full screen it's 10 inches so it's really big uh, if you put it in reverse it does come automatically for you as well and you do have that 360 camera view and you have a wide range camera out back and the same goes for out front and then you have that 360 that shows you where you're going forward and back to the front cam side. You can clean that camera up front if you are going off road. And up top above the screen, you do have some buttons. You have your stop start function, lane keep assist, you can turn that off. Traction control, you can turn that off as well. Caution lights. And then you have your parking sensors that you can also defeat as well. All your buttons out side of the screen for your climate your heated seats your heated steering wheel perfect great layout i would like to see the sinking function for the four zone climate control that you have but they did not put that in here on the side here you do have a little bit of hard plastics around this area but not too bad decent size glove box and you have a charging station four usbs type a's and type c's power outlet and you have cup holders a nice little function is in the cup holders is you can actually put your key right in center if you don't already have it in your uh, pocket or your purse you have all your off-road functions on the left side and then you have your air suspension on the right side four-wheel drive low if you get stuck and then downhill assist and all this can be closed up to look nice and premium you have a leather wrap center console you have storage up top and below and it's all finished like in like a velcro too up top you can actually pop open that rear hatch you have lighting control and you have led lights as well and if you want to open the screen for the sunroof you can out back you can actually control the uh, windows and the door locks and as I mentioned earlier, you have auto up and down. They do add these um, screens out back too for the rear passengers if you have small children. It just comes up like that. Really easy to do too. 
You have speakers on the doors, a lot of soft touch. Pretty much everything you saw up front is out back as well. Look at the little chrome accent around the seat up top too. Now you can see that you don't have a lot of space here. If I try to get in, yeah, I can't even get in. I can't get in. So this seat does scoop back just a little bit. So with the seat all the way back, I do have space back here. So it's pretty tight. I could move up maybe two, three inches and I'll still be comfortable. If you close the door, really comfortable in the second row. This seat does recline. There's a handle on the side and you can pretty much see how far the seat goes back. That fan cam is right here too, if you're wondering how that was working. And you do have controls for the rear, for like your AC. You have more type A and type C, USBs, a power plug, cup holders. Um, heated seats are actually on the second row as well. I think you can get cooled or ventilated seats in the second row on the higher trim levels, like in the Summit and the Reserve. And I do like the placement of the AC vents in this specific SUV. You have one of these pillars, like these are gonna be the C pillars, and they actually have them on the B pillars down below. I didn't show that to you, but you have them right there as well. And even in the third row seat, USBs, cup holders on both sides, and you have air vents. Now I will say, if you buy this SUV, I strongly recommend getting the bench in the second row. I know that kind of sucks because you don't have this pass through and it doesn't look as nice, but this is a six passenger SUV and I wish they would have made this a seven passenger so you could put three people back there so you wouldn't need the bench in the second row, but that was kind of where Jeep went wrong on this, in my opinion. What I'm gonna do next is show you a quick time lapse of the air suspension, all right? All right guys, so this is in its lowest setting. It's like slammed to the ground. It looks so good like this actually. I actually would drive it like this if it would let you, but once you go over like 15 or 20 miles, it just raises back up. But that's pretty much everything I want to show you. Let's take it for a quick drive, okay? I've said this in a lot of other videos. Although the Limited is more than enough SUV for most people, having this Overland is just, it's on another level. I love the air suspension. This, the ride is just, it's completely different from the regular coil sprung suspension. I mean, yeah, there's just, there's so much to love about this SUV, man. I, I think one day my wife will probably have one because this, this is on the level. Overall, this handles really well and I, man, yeah, if you have the money, get the Overland Summit or the Reserve, get the air suspension, you will not be upset. I mean, the ride feels like on a cloud. The seat function for the massager is really nice. The cool seats work perfect. It's 90 degrees outside, this is a black interior. I do have the sunroof open as well, and it's really comfortable inside of the cockpit. One thing I would have liked to have seen was two V8 engines for the Grand Cherokee L. And the reason why is because this is a you know, long wheelbase, I feel like this is gonna be a little bit heavier. A lot of people say it's not. I believe it's a little bit heavier than the regular Grand Cherokee. And because of that, this, this V6, I'm going downhill too. It's, it feels underpowered and the transmission has a little bit of a delay. It's not bad, but it's a little bit of a delay. Uh, I think that the 8 HP 75 8 speed transmission is a better trans, and which is why they use it for the 5.7 V8. But I think that the 5.7 should have been the standard engine, and the 6.4, which would probably be the SRT motor in the future for this, should have been the upgraded engine. And that way you could have towed you know, a little bit more. But I'm sure Jeep's gonna do that. And the reason why they probably did not offer that as the standard engine, the 5.7, was because of the way the world's going with you know all the emissions and everyone's trying to go green and go electric so I understand why they didn't do that now I showed you that camera that was pretty much at the very top below the high mount center light now that camera that was up top was for this one so you do have a high definition rearview mirror and yeah I'd like this you can't turn it off by flipping it down like that 
and then you just have your regular one. But this is a nice touch to the interior. The reason why I think the Grand Cherokee L was bad for a Jeep and the Grand Cherokee brand, and I'm specifically talking about the standard wheelbase, which I'm gonna call it the Grand Cherokee SW. The Grand Cherokee L is, this is a family vehicle. The way that they have it priced, it's not much more money than just a standard wheelbase Grand Cherokee. If I were in the market, once they redesigned the standard wheelbase Grand Cherokee, that's probably what I would want to buy. I don't think my wife and I are going to have any more kids, so there's really no point to have a third row seat. And because they didn't make this a seven passenger standard, I feel like having just an extra seat doesn't make sense for us anyway. So if I didn't get the bench, I would just get the five passenger Grand Cherokee standard wheelbase. Now, I'm afraid that this could actually put the Grand Cherokee standard wheelbase as a discontinued model and just kind of fill that market for them. I like the overall design and that size better. And I think that this is more like softened in comparison. So I'm hoping that they don't discontinue that Jeep Grand Cherokee for this one, for that fact. Now, who knows what the future will bring, but in my opinion, I think that this is good for families um, and people who do need that extra seat or if they need to get the seven passenger Grand Cherokee L. So here's the window sticker for the Grand Cherokee L Overland we just took a look at. Base price is $54,995. And if you add all your options and destination charge, it's going to be $62,475. And be sure to check out all the features here that were optional. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to pause if you'd like to see more and I'll see you guys in the next video.